Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using N8 and IO for beginners in 2024. So today we're embarking the journey into the world of N8 and IO, which is an open source workflow automation tool designed to streamline your processes and connect favorites apps effortlessly. Whether you are new to automation or a seasoned pro, N8 N offers for you a powerful yet user-friendly platform to automate tasks and workflow. So join me as we explore that and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser that you will use uh, that you will use in this tutorial. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open it, go to this URL section and basically type N8 N dot i o and hit the enter button this should take you to their website right away so if you have an account just go and click on sign in at the top right corner here once you click on it you'll find yourself here you'll have to sign in into your account if you don't have an account you can click on get started to create a new account for free as an example you'll have to start filling your first name so for me i'll just type random information like this or test uh my company email i don't know if this will work because it's personal email normally personal email don't work but let's see so the password we'll just go here and create a password and then account name i'll just say name it omix and keep with uh, constant improvement through our newsletter if you check this option they will keep sending you like news on email if you want to if you don't just don't check it out and click on try for free once you do so as you can see hi there so what uh, team are you on? So of course, you can choose whatever or you will have to answer some simple questions, of course, to give you like the automation that you may need. They will give you the templates of it as an example. So I'll just do here other, uh, like I'll just type test in here, then click on OK. What side of, the, of your company? Lower than 20. Uh, have you used any of these tools before? Uh, no, I'll just choose no. How did you hear about this other uh, or I'll just choose YouTube. Why not click on submit and here, as you can see, what apps do you use? So of course you can select like multiple apps or you can just select the apps that you just one app or you can click on continue before selecting any app. As an example, if you don't want to select any apps right now, if you want, of course, if you select some apps, especially that you use and especially the apps that you want to automate between uh, between them, they will give you the automation, as I said, from template that you may use. So, for example, Gmail's already added, Discord is already added. What's about Telegram's already added? Maybe LinkedIn. Uh, so, LinkedIn might be good to add. Uh, I don't know what else will I need. Maybe Google Drive, of course. Just type Google. Maybe Google Docs, Contacts, Tasks, Calendar. Uh, so, I just go and let that and click on continue. Of course, if you want to add any other member you can add this here for me i'll just go and click on skip and here as you can see they will show you a small video like as you can see a small four minutes video on how you basically can automate stuff so as you can see intro simple work for example uh here like how to do it set up a trigger uh, pull in data into workflow set up slack nodes as example node this is for a specific example that is showing so of course depending on the ultimate that you're doing you don't have to do slack maybe you have to do another app uh, mapping data between nodes of course uh, activate your workflow add conditional logic uh, filtering of course basically in the outro if everything is working as intended basically for me i'll just go and click on start automating right away once you do so as you can see you will find yourself in here so first you will have 13 uh, 14 days free trial after that, you'll have to go and start paying. As you can see, if you click on upgrade now, you'll see the prices, as you can see. So this is the starter price, uh, price, pro price. If you want to like whatever suits you, you can go and start with it. Of course, if you pay annually, you will get a 20% discount. So here, as an example, in this left panel, you'll be able to find templates that is already done by people. So how to connect two stuffs together? That's people already done, as you can see. Maybe uh, working dates and time as example. So he already has this workflow. You can use it. Not even this one. As you can see, they have a lot of workflows that you can use. A lot of them. You can even look for some specific apps, specific apps in here. As you can see, they have 800 plus workflow templates. If you didn't find what you want, you can simply start creating your own. 
by starting creating your trigger as an example then you can add actions and you can do a lot of other stuff you can even use this advanced ai tool as an example to search for some specific nodes as an example i don't know what you're looking for but just type it here and you'll be able to do it as you can see you can look for action action app or some data transformations flow file score add another trigger if you want to add multiple trigger on app events on a schedule or something as example you can add look for the app that you want to add it as a trigger uh, for the action of course or action on the app action or something so you'll be able to do a lot of stuff as i said and of course make sure to create your flow and once all is good of course you will be able once you test your uh, or once you enter of course your workflow make sure to configure the settings and parameter of each node to tailor your workflow to your specific use of course connect the nodes together uh, define the sequence of action and data flow within the workflow customize the node settings sortage authentication uh, credentials input data and outpost mapping and before even deploying your workflow it's crucial to test it through through to ensure like its functionality as ex its function as expected you can utilize the n8n uh, io built in testing tool as you can see here in the bottom option to simulate or to simulate of course the workflow execution and verify the result if it's working of course that's good if not you'll be able to debug your workflow by troubleshooting errors and refining configurations as needed so as you can see if you click on it here you'll have to give it a name and submit the form and then it will be tested by its own if it's working you'll be able to start deploying your workflow and start using it right away and as you become more comfortable with n8n io you can explore its advanced features to unlock additional like automation capabilities experiment with workflow branching conditional logic error handling and data transformation to create some complex and dynamic workflow and yeah so there you have it you've taken your first steps into the world of automation with n8n io in 2024 of course whether you are simplifying repetitive tasks or integrating some applications or orchestrating complex workflow uh, n8n io empowers you to achieve more with automation or automation you can continue exploring of course learning and innovating to leverage the full potential of automation in your work and life so if you have any question or there's a specific topic or specific automation that you want, to, you want me to do, just do it down below or type it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do this as soon as possible. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.